Whatever it is that you're selling, your customer is the hero, not your brand. Welcome to the We Are Slam show where you'll learn marketing agency insights, best practices, and ideas to help your business grow. My name is Tyler Kelly. I'm the co-founder and chief strategist at Slam Agency. We are a full service, boutique, digital marketing agency really designed to help you captivate, motivate, and inspire people to action through advertising. And I'm really excited because today I'm gonna introduce you to another one of my favorite books when it comes to copywriting, storytelling, developing a message. So last week we talked about the importance of understanding the sales process. As a marketing professional, in order to level up your marketing expertise, you really have to understand sales why people buy, what motivates people, drives people to action. If you can understand this, then you can really level up your marketing game. Now, if you're a marketing director that's just always done marketing, then maybe you haven't had a chance to get out in the field. This is obviously the best place to start to understand how your sales organization operates, the challenges that they face, you know, what are those conversations that they're having with people in real life. You really should absorb these types of things. That way you understand, you know, Number one, where your sales team's coming from. And number two, what are the types of messages? What are the types of responses that help people get just a little bit further along in that buying cycle? Without understanding the literal nuts and bolts of your organization's sales process, then it's gonna be really hard to market. You know, no longer are we in a day and age where marketing can be here and sales can be here. We really have to bring these two together, break down these silos, bring these two together, align them so that marketing and sales are both operating, you know, with similar KPIs, with the same end goals in mind working as a unit and that's how we can get more done. And so, you know, when, when it comes to understanding sales as a marketing professional, the first way to do that is to just, you know, get on the ground with your people and just absorb in the same way that, you know, in, in branding, we would absorb the, the attitudes, interest, opinions of the brand, the voice of the brand. And we would, we would work that out through a branding uh, guidelines in the same way you should really absorb all that there is to absorb when it comes to sales. Now, the second best way to kind of get this into your way of thinking as a marketing professional is to read copywriting books, okay? Copywriters, the best copywriters, the the copywriters, the legends of of years, years past, these are the people that understood human behavior, understood how to get people to buy. Now, what I really like about copywriting books is that they combine, you know, all of these important elements, the user psychology, buyer psychology, a thorough understanding of the sales process, and then putting those things together, how to craft a message that drives results. And so really the best copywriting books put all of these things together and you're able to get all of this knowledge in one book, okay? Otherwise, you're reading books on psychology, on why people buy, you're learning about the sales process, reading books on 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 just sales process and buying cycle and these types of things. And then, you know, me- messaging and storytelling. And But the best copywriting books are gonna combine those three elements. And so last week I introduced my one of my favorites, scientific advertising. This week I'm gonna introduce another favorite. This one is Building a Story Brand by Donald Miller, New York Times bestseller. This guy uh, runs an agency out of Nashville, Tennessee, has has had some pretty high profile clients over the years, but I think now he's primarily focused on uh, driving this methodology into the marketplace, helping agencies, helping small businesses kind of get up to par when it comes to story brand and the story brand framework. Now in this book, he talks about how companies waste an enormous amount of money for two reasons, primarily two reasons. Number one is that they just fail to focus on what matters to buyers, right? And what matters to buyers, what really, when it comes down to it, the reason people buy is because they're either looking to survive or thrive. They're looking for a transformation. They're looking for your product or service to take them from their pain point 
to success. And in reality, you know, we waste a lot of money because we don't get to the point and we don't tell users, tell our buyers, potential prospects, what's in it for them. And specifically what's in it for them is like, what's that result? What is that after effect after you've utilized my product or service? The second way that as a company you can waste a lot of money is just being confusing. You know, we've heard this, Barry Schwartz talks about analysis paralysis and this whole idea that the more confusing your offer is, the more likely it is that you're just gonna run people off. I mean, you have to keep things simple and the beauty of a storytelling framework is that it allows you to keep things simple and really, that's what this book is all about. It gives you a framework that you can use. And, and, and by framework, I mean like it's a fill in the blank framework that if you just take it step by step, you're guaranteed to not be so confusing in your offer or in your pitch. And you're really gonna focus on the things that matter to buyers, which is surviving, thriving, that personal transformation, taking them from that pain point to that success. That's that's what a framework allows you to do. Now, in our previous episodes, we've we've dug into frameworks and, and we've introduced several different types of options when it comes to frameworks. And Donald will tell you himself that, you know, he didn't invent this. This his framework is based off of of the narrative framework, the narrative storytelling method, which has been with us for thou as human beings for thousands of years. And what he's done is he's just taken this Put it into you know this book in a way that you as a business owner as a marketing professional can understand and utilize and and put into practice right away so i want to give you some highlights and and in the in the show notes we will definitely you know have a link to this book so that you can purchase it and um, we're available should you have any questions like on this practice this this framework methodology okay so building a story brand so when we think about the framework itself the story brand framework it's really quite simple here's how donald puts it a character has a problem meets a guide who gives them a plan calls them to action and that action either results in failure or success it's it's the sb7 there's seven steps to it it's super simple the way i like to think about it is number one you have to identify you have to in any sort of marketing or advertising you have to allow your prospect your target market to self-identify okay so when i say self-identify that means that if you're developing a radio commercial if you're developing an online video if you're writing website copy right there front and center your character has to identify themselves and the best way to do that is by identifying themselves with the problem and so for instance if you're a marketing director who is struggling with trying to make sense of digital marketing and how best to utilize digital for your goals this year if you can say yes to that and that's the first thing that i lead with and you say yes to that then you've identified yourself as a potential customer for what we're offering in that case and so really a character who has a problem these first two steps is that self-identification it's a question that you can ask this person this this persona, this customer avatar of yours, this customer segment, it's a question that you can ask them that they say yes to. So for instance, if you run a barbershop, it could be as simple as, is your hair a little too long? Are you looking forward to getting a haircut? If you can say yes to that, then boom, the story has begun. What's next meets a guide. Now here's the thing, a lot of times when we think of storytelling, especially as marketing professionals, we think that we're the subject of the story, and that's actually not true. We are not the hero of the story. You know, every good story, you know, that hero is on a journey. And for us, our hero is the customer. So the customer is the hero. Whatever it is that you're selling, your customer is the hero, not your brand, okay? Where does the brand come in? Where do you come in? You come in as the guide. You're the guide that's gonna take them from that pain point, whatever problem it is that you identified, you're going to take them from that before state, as Ryan Dice likes to say, that before state, and then you're going to give them a plan that says, okay, you do this, you do this, you do this, and you're going to achieve the success that you're looking for. You're going to have this transformation. You're going to survive. You're going to thrive. 
if you do these things. That's a guide who gives them a plan. Once you've done those two steps, then it's you got to call to action. If you don't ask, you don't receive. So let's call this person to action, okay? How do you do that? Maybe in a radio commercial, what might you say? You might say, dial this number. Visit www.mysolution.com or whatever that may be. You got to call them to action. You got to say, do this. If you do this, you'll receive this. If you don't, you won't. And that's the final, the final step is because this call to action, if they don't take it, you have to, you have to kind of point them back to where they are and say, listen, if you don't visit www.mysolution.com, then you're going to be exactly where you were yesterday. You're still going to have this confusion, this pain point. It's going to be with you. But if you visit www.mysolution.com and sign up and, and follow through with the steps and, and take action on that plan, then you're going to have this success that you're going to survive. You're going to thrive. You're going to see transformation for your brand as an individual. You're going to realize success. And that's the key. A character who has a problem meets a guide who gives them a plan that calls them to action, hinting at that failure that you're avoiding reminding them of that and then pointing them to success. That is how in seven simple steps, this book, Donald Miller says that you can, you can clarify your message so that customers will listen. Okay. So like I said, we're going to leave a copy of this, or I'm sorry, we're going to leave a link to this in the show notes for today's show. And, uh, read this. I mean, these, this is great storytelling. This, this is the type of book that will help you grow your business. If you are a, an entrepreneur, if you're a startup founder, if you're a foundation director, like it doesn't matter. Storytelling is key. We have been telling stories for thousands of years as human beings and storytelling. It's really, you know, at the end of the day, it's copywriting and Donald is an amazing copywriter. So when I think of copywriting books that can level up your marketing game, this is one of them. Okay. So check it out. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed uh, today's show, or if you've read this book, let me know in the comments. I'd be, I'd be excited to hear, you know, who's already read this and what you got out of it. If you read it, make sure to tell me what you got out of it. And if you haven't read it, but you're going to order it, let me know that too, because I want to, I want to follow up with you and, and figure out, you know, what were some of your takeaways from this book? Uh, at, at the, at the back of the book is a lot of really actionable, practical things that you can do with your website. And so there's a lot here. There's a lot here for marketing professionals and for business owners. So, so uh, I highly recommend it. Again, building a story brand by Donald Miller. Now, if this is your first time tuning in, be sure to subscribe, rate, and review. We do this every single week. You can get marketing agency insights best practice and, and ideas to help your business grow. And, you know, if you've been tuning in for a while, do me a favor and share this with a friend. Tell somebody about it, especially somebody that is in the marketing profession, because we do this for marketing professionals to help you kind of, you know, increase your knowledge so that you can increase your revenue, increase your salary, whatever that may be. So thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, subscribe and hit that bell. You'll be the first to be notified when new content goes live. After that, you can watch more videos from Slam Agency. We've picked something we think you'll love.